And the people's champion is on the attack early, ready to satisfy the fans that love him so well. Guys, I have a feeling this is the type of match we'll go back and look at three or four times over the course of next week. Despite his busy schedule, the only thing that Bravo Bull wants to do now is lay the smackdown on his opponent. Hey, Corey, do you smell that? Byron, leave the catchphrases to the great one. But yes, we all smell what The Rock is cooking. There, you made me say it. See, that wasn't too bad. This man needs business. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Look at this. He slams him down with authority. The human body can only absorb so much of that. John Cena's looking to fly. Punishing attack on the body. Show's taking some heat here, but he's not appearing too worse for wear, Jeez. at least not yet anyway. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. You know, guys, it's not uncommon for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium, but when it comes to Bruce Strowman, there is no moniker than the monster among men. So it's kind of like when they call you J.R. Jr., right? I've never heard that one. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, wow. Braun Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller Big Show. I mean, at one point, Strowman threw Show right through a steel cage. A back suplex! There might not be anything on this planet more terrifying than when Big Show has the upper hand. And he lands the slam. Roman Reigns lives by models like one versus all. And I can, I did, I will again. Roman's the big dog, and when you're the big dog, you can have a line of enemies a mile long. The more the merrier. Here we go. Inverted DDT. Lights out. Inside the ring now. John Cena starting to take some deep breaths in there. Oh, man. If history has shown us anything when it comes to Roman Reigns, it's that the man is fearless. And when the big dog is on the hunt, opposing superstars better beware. We all know that Roman Reigns is not going to back down from a fight. Reigns will defend the Roman Empire with everything he's got. And if Roman's the only one defending it, he's okay with that, too. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. here for Brock Lesnar. He has to formulate a plan quickly to get things going. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the full team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing in a move like that. Come on, toughen up. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double-team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Escapes trouble there. You'll often see the words never give up on John Cena's clothing, and he truly lives by those words. Cena has spent over 15 years working hard to be the best, and he'll never quit on the WWE Universe. I'm kind of astonished that as long as Cena's been around, we rarely see him take shortcuts. Heck, the guy literally won't quit. He'd rather pass out in pain than admit defeat and tap out. Uh-oh. 
He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of that's a shocking elimination if you ask me. I'm not giving up on the conversation about John Cena. That phrase, never give up, has inspired so many of Cena's fans. Terminally ill children, members of the military, Cena fights hard so that they can fight even harder. Yeah, you have to be inspired by a guy with Cena's work ethic. He's fighting harder now than he was when he was a rookie. Nobody can doubt Cena when he utters those three words. Oh, the reversal by Big Show. He's got a head of steam. See how long he can sustain it. Big Show. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And he's heading back in. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Just carrying the opposition here. Something big is coming. Sweep. Nicely done. Braun Strowman is taking a beating, and he could be out at any oh, I think this man means business. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. He's in control. Oh, no. John Cena got outclassed. John Cena being pressed hard. This is going to frustrate John Cena. Look out. Oh boy, he is rolling. What, from what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. That's what he was looking for, Michael. John Cena's going up. Look at this. Back in the ring again. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Well, when you're down to just one team member left, you can't be feeling too good about your chances. right now, but I wouldn't at all be surprised if this superstar finds a way to overcome the odds here. Rock setting it up. Oh my God. What a six-man tag match. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights.
That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance.